When you when you became on the it's the floaters, was it a certain moment? Was it a certain interview? A certain point where it was like, yeah, this shit getting serious. I'm not a bluffing nigga, so I'm not getting out the bed for no bluffing shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some real shit. And that's it's business. I'm gonna make that the make that the quote of the video. I'm, not, I'm telling you, you I lost my first four interviews. I lost them. What? Yes, before you released them. Yes, my my first four four interviews. My hard drive crashed, bro. Your hard drive crashed. I wouldn't even know what to do with my but hard drive. But crashed. the best, it is what it is, is what it is, bro. You got you got you got you got to fail. You be like on some like fuck it aesthetic type shit. For real? Yeah, like with the white tees and shit. Damn, you know? I didn't think of this was a fuck it. That's just the fit. No, nah, it's definitely fuck it. How many times has that happened on you? When you did a whole bip and it just flicked on you like shit. I interviewed Dr. J the first time I interviewed him. I should handle audio. What? And Dr. He, J? And he really, he, he really gave it up the first time. Yeah. So did, she, did, he get, did you get him to sit down and do it again? Yeah, I got him to do it again. For real. Oh, so my it, goodness. Enough of the stress, bro. That is ridiculous. We back, though. We back. It's full of TV. He yep. with Blase, Chris, the network. Yep. You know what Remember I'm saying? He's been podcast. doing his thing. He's been running through these interviews. Thank you. I've been doing my thing. You feel what I'm saying? He going to ask me some questions. I shouldn't have did that, but I did it. He did the intro. It's a different thing. I'd rather, if anybody do, I'd rather you do it than a random rapping nigga. So three key, three key things that grew your three key, three thing, three key things that grew the floaters. Three key things that grew yeah, that grew the if the grew the floaters. Yes, sir. Consistency, discussion, and team. Mm-hmm. So the consistency is, I realize like you don't really get shit out of posting like. One vi- one freestyle video, one video, one interview every week, like mm-hmm. or one artist a week. You don't really get nothing out of that. Like it's not the industry for that, like the area for that. So I realized like once one artist played with me and it was like I felt like the motion of the platform was depending on him for the week. I was like never again. Like I'm never going to put my hard work in somebody else's hands if they feeling snobby and don't want to interact with the platform, do the collab post and shit like that. I'm like. I you know what I'm gonna do like three, four, five a week in case it's a, so if it's a bad app it don't really stop the show for real. So mm. once I figured out the pace, that's when it just started working. I, started, I told my man Henry, I'm like, yo, because Henry don't Henry my business partner, but he don't want me working hard for real. Like he don't want me like overworking myself for real. Me either. But it's like it's no point in working myself at all if it ain't gonna work. So I had to overwork myself for real because this shit this shit gotta work. So once I found that pace, shit started working like. One a day at least. One mm-hmm. a day. One one a day every week day at least for real. Wow, that's a work schedule right there. How much how much time do you find yourself editing? Like like six, seven hours a day. Damn. Like just like every day, seven days a week. That's why I'm so out of shape. That's not that don't that don't mean you out of shape. Yeah, I don't got time to go to the gym after that. Bro, you don't you, you do push ups. That's what I'm trying to do. Sit ups. Yeah. Fuck shit. you mean fuck working I, I, my father's a my father's a, a ex is a personal trainer. He got a whole gym in the basement. I don't work out, nigga. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> What's the difference between being skinny and fat? Like skinny is like you should get bigger. Fat mm-hmm. is like damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back to the question. So you're not you're, you said it's it's so crazy. You don't you, you're from Columbia. You said you don't even try to claim Baltimore, but yeah, I, this Baltimore. whole time I just thought you was from Baltimore. This whole time, nah. I mean, the way you're saying it is like it, it's like um, I don't know. I'm not I'm not, I'm not from Baltimore. Though. I feel like being from Baltimore is special to the people that's from Baltimore. Like it's like that might be like that's the only special to me to niggas from Baltimore. Yeah, I'm just saying that might be your, <laughs> that might you know what I'm saying that just might mean a lot to you for real. Like it's like it's it's a tough city to grow up in for. Real. I didn't grow up in the city, so to come out here as a grown man is like it's a lot easier. Like if I grew up out here as a kid. And I had to be in classrooms or stuck around the same people. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm out here freely, so it's like mm-hmm. more in the situations I want to be in. So I wouldn't say I'm from here. It's it's a difficult place to grow up in. I grew up in a lot easier place. Yeah. Okay. Um, talk about the goddamn Big Three event. Oh, you the was, Big Three you was, event. You, so, would you have a press? Did you have a press pass in there? I actually didn't have a press pass. I actually rolling the bus with Dr. J for the little shuttle. Oh, that's hard. I'm actually in the shuttle with Dr. J, just like. It's Yo, me, what is it like Dr. being Dr. around Dr. Jason Dr. J. Richardson? Jason Rich. Yeah, Jason That's Richardson. Hard. You feel what I'm saying? My man's Henry. We in there, but he, I mean, I so like I grew up around Henry for real. So like I grew up around Henry, 
my cousin Eric Agins. So it's like we done been around celebrities or famous athletes, and they just always told me like, just play it cool. Like we regular people, like we don't want to be treated no type of different. So we just gotta play it cool. Like the niggas gonna be themselves. Like mm-hmm. they was talking politics, talking everything in there. Like so it was cool just to be around there. Like my father's a big Dr. J fan, so it was like. Mm-hmm. He would have won like like it's to certain people like niggas would have paid a million dollars to be in that shuttle. Hell probably. yeah, hell yeah. So it's like yeah. So uh, okay, this let's, I wanna... let's, let's let me know how super fragile this is dope I am. You you are you are dope. I'm super fragile. This is dope. Feast of what? Super fragile. This is dope. Super fragilistic dope. Yeah. Yes, you are. I agree with you. I wouldn't even take that shit away from you. My natural dope. No BBL. No BBL. Okay. <laughs> What the fuck? Um, okay, so it's the floaters. How long? How long did it take you from when you when you from your first free? Did your first freestyle had a whole aesthetic? Like how? Well, tell me your process. The first four freestyle was a white backdrop. My man's author. He was trying to do a freestyle. We had just Henry had told me like, yo, I put some money on the car for you to get some equipment, test some shit out. I'm like, all right, about fucking time, Henry. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so I got the white backdrop and the blue backdrop for real. We already had the lights and shit. Like a lot of equipment we already had for real. But Henry, Henry, like, gave niggas the opportunity to get some, like, more equipment for real. So I'm like, right, I'm going to get the monitor, the Ninja V, Ninja V, the five joint. Help me see, like, how the quality going to look. Like, so I shoot in an S Log 2 for real. Oh, wow. Depending on what camera I'm using, S Log 2 or S Log 3. Mm-hmm. So it lets me see what the, the LUT look like on there. For yeah, real. yeah. Mm-hmm. So we did the first freestyle with man Arthur. We ain't, I didn't even have the monitor, but first freestyle with Arthur, second freestyle with Menace, third freestyle with Menace Low, the fourth one with Lamatic. By the time you, you had a black background by then. Blue. By the, by the fourth one. Blue? I mean, the blue. I'm sorry. Yeah. I said black. Yeah, but I had the blue and the white one at the same time. I just, we didn't open the blue yet. Mm. So once I open the blue, yeah. Just, now was there? I know. I don't. I mean, I don't know. This is kind of an open ended question. You can answer how you like. Um, did you when you when you became on the is the photos? Was it a certain moment? Was it a certain interview? A certain point where it was like, yeah, this shit getting serious. On the top of my head, I'm saying the Paco Panama interview. But I can also say the Tim Trees interview. Um, yeah, those was the first couple. Oh, the GGL slick. Nah, GGL slick. <laughs> nah, when Lamatic hit me for the freestyle, I'm That's like, okay. Hard. When Lamatic hit me for the freestyle, I'm like, okay, this shit getting kind of big. Because Lamatic is somebody with a, with a big following too. And he's popular. So it was just was like, okay, Lamatic reaching out for one. Okay, like this shit. And I ain't, I ain't know him. Like John know him, but I ain't know him. So I'm just like, okay, like this shit working for real. But then um, the GGL slick, when he hit me for real, it was just like, Oh shit, for real. Okay, like, yeah, and then, and then we that that was definitely the first big interview for real. GGL Slick. I'm That's not sure if I did Slick first. I did no, nah, I did Slick, and then I did Tim Trees for real. So definitely the GGL Slick interview, and you feel me? Like Slick, Slick a legend. So it was just me and yo. That shit was everything to me. Okay, so we so okay, um, so we both run platforms. We both understand that this is a business at the end of the day. This is a, we got bills we got to pay. What, what, tell, walk me through, because um, as you know, I told, we talked about before a little bit about how much I charge and shit like that. Talk to me about how you, how you, evo- how you evaluate that type of shit, because I obviously got some shit to learn. And should I charge people more for my shit? Those are two, two end of questions. I mean, business is business, so it's like, if I never heard of you from nowhere, I'm in the scene, you know what I'm saying? Um, not as much as in the DMV, the, the DCPG, but like in the Baltimore scene. I mean, I feel like I know who I should know. Even in the DMV scene, it's like, if I never heard of you, you feel what I'm saying? And if I go to your page and it's like, you're not really all the way where you want to be at yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to do business, you know what I'm saying? But. If I heard about you before, I'm already interested in your music. You know what I'm saying? It's a different type of. But that's a, that's 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 a rare situation to find because we like you said we like you said we're from Baltimore. Everybody in that mother of rap. What you mean? Like it's it's I, was, I was, like you said like um 
Um, you already you fucking with that um, music? I'm sorry, it's a little, it's a little shit in my nose. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not a little meat was new, like mucus stuck in your nose and your mouth. That little part right there, that like it's a little but um um shit uh um, shit I lost train of thought. You saying like never heard of them or what? What? Oh yeah 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 like shit I forgot the question. You saying like um. Talking about the business, so she's like, so many people bought one that rap. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, like you were saying, like it's a, you were saying like, if if it's a somebody that you actually fuck with and you fuck with their aesthetic and you fuck with their music, I'm so what I'm saying is that's a rare situation because everybody in their mother rap and not everybody is good at that shit. You know what I mean? And just just from the type of the type of engagement you type of getting, I, I, like if you had it's the percentage to your shit, I know it's not all niggas making hits coming through there. So how do you just decipher that? Discretion. Mm-hmm. Go back to what you asked me in this interview. The three things: consistency, discussion, and team. So it's discussion for real. Like you can tell somebody sees about their music for real, or you can tell somebody is just bluffing about their music. So if you bluffing, I'm not a bluffing nigga, so I'm not getting out the bed for no bluffing shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some real shit. Unless it's business. I'm gonna make that the I'm make that the quote of the video. I'm not a bluffing nigga, so if I'm not getting out the bed for some bluffing shit, if I'm shit. I don't got too much furniture in my apartment, so if I'm not editing no video, I probably not sit on the couch. I probably go, go lay down. You feel what I'm saying? So I ain't getting out of bed for a lot of this shit. What's, what do you find yourself doing? You I said, said, you- I, said, I, said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I'm too busy. It's never bored them, you bitch. My niggas want me to hop out the bed, go record them and shit. <laughs> they ain't official. They be forging this shit like a field trip. In the bus boarding and shit. Okay. All niggas do is get high cop Jordans and the shit. shit. I can't afford them and shit. But I be forward and shit. Bring my fizz in the life. To me, that's not important and shit. If I'm in That's the freestyle you just dropped? If I'm importing the clip, I'm exporting the clip. All yeah. assets and make the money orbit and shit. I just feel like I'm trying can... to keep my pockets fat like Norbert and shit. I still lay my clothes out like the first day of class. Two of my favorite bitches waited till my birthday to class. Oh no, you've been dropped there. I remember that. I remember That's why that. I never had a birthday bash. I don't give niggas passes. I ain't go to six flags. Man, your, your bars, Bro your just bars. just pulled up six bags. Your bars, your bars is. Mad as fuck. I. Cut my hair. I want some zigzag. <laughs> Man, I used to cop them skip school. Now oh, niggas fucking no. with me trying to get cool. None of them niggas clap for me. I was getting booed when I was young. I was with everybody, bitch, and getting chewed. <laughs> what the fuck? I yo, she, yo. I wish she was my manager. I like when she get rude and she design kicks like them sick kids that sing Jews. Oh hell no. Yo, your bars, your bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Your your bars, your rapping is so like, I like it's a lot real of life. it's real life, nigga. It's not it's a lot life. of a lot of shit. Like niggas be rapping about holes and chains and shit, but you rapping about what I'm going through, what I went through yesterday, type yeah. shit. That shit, that's Sound that's a nice. different, that's Sound a different, nice. that's, a different that's a different type. That's what I'm saying. Nice. That's a different type of shit. You you have to only be good at that shit to to be you know, able to you know articulate. You know, rappers make content. So people fuck with your music. People fuck with my music. You no, know, people like rappers should make content. So people fuck with their music more. Oh, hell yeah. I'm a rapper. I make content. You know what that content is called? The floaters. They used to fuck with this music more. I just, instead of, like, so look, let's so talk about my man's Henry and shit. We done probably spent like 30, 40 bands on the floaters for real. I done probably made like 20, 25 back. You feel what I'm saying? Mind you, the expenses, the money that I got, you feel me, go in my pocket, the money that I got to go back in his pocket. Like, we done made like 25, we done probably made more than 25 bands back. We probably done spent more than 50 bands. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's, that's an achievement. Though. You know how hard it is to do like $100? But I could have took that opportunity with Henry and I could have folded it. Like niggas could have made it, I could have personalized it. And niggas could have just put that shit into music. Mm. And just had over budgeted videos, over budgeted music sessions. You feel what I'm saying? That's, and wasted the money. That sounds like, like you was so, being selfless. So it's, it's like a comp, it, it's like selfless. But it's also a lack of confidence that I have in my music, for real. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm great, but it's the confidence that I have in the music industry, for real. It's like, I feel like it's much smarter to put that light in the resources that I bought. So you can say I kind of bought resources to the DMV, for real. 
Because this is not no cheap shit that we doing. Hell like, no. I bought the resources and I'm spreading the love. I would think so but too. But it, it take a person like me, take a person like my father raising me, my grandma raising him, and Mama Jerry teaching my grandma the ways like my whole family is about community for real. Like so like for, so for me doing this is really like my birthright for real. Like I'm I'm really like affecting the community. That's what the McCoys that's what McCoys do for this, this, uh, this the story was told all the way back then and you're bringing that shit to fellation when it's t- my, my my people was in nursery had nurseries in the Bronx and daycares and real family oriented shit. So the photo is like if it can contribute to Baltimore City, the DMV, in just any type of way, that's me living my my birthright for real. So it's like okay, this okay. interview way harder than the first one we just lost, it, bro. It's because it's because it's, it's but, but it's I'm telling you, I lost my first four interviews. I lost them. What? Yes, before my you released them. Yes, my my first four four interviews, my hard drive crashed, bro. Your hard drive crash. I wouldn't even know what to do with my but hard the, drive. But crash. the best things that have ever happened to me in life was off redos and just knowing that Fucking you already put, and you already did it. You gotta do it again. That's what Mike Beasley say. It ain't about doing it, it's about doing it again. Mm. So these freestyles, but we done did two hundred twenty-two, like almost two hundred of these bitches. The main thing that be in my head when I'm doing them is I can't fuck up this time because I didn't fuck up ever before. So I gotta keep. I fucked up before, but it's like, it's about not fucking up. The whole name of the game is just not fuck up. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, it got to get better. I've been getting better with the color grade and all that shit. Yes, you have. I can, me as a, me as a producer that produced my own shit, that color grade my own shit, you, I the same you, camera, I that one, the same, that same camera that I bought in 2020 that my girlfriend put a thousand dollars on. That's the same camera you, you color grade right now? Yes. That's hard. I'm getting better. Shit. Three, three things. What, what can, what can people expect from the floaters in the next three years? That's the close up question. More money, more bottles, and more bitches. Mm. Hopefully I can be there. I'll pop a bottle. More money, more booty, more bitches. Amen. So now more money, more, more opportunity, booty. more life changes. We changing life, real shit. No, for real. In real life. My life is changing too. My life you is know, changing you know too. What's crazy you about me? You know, so let me ask you a question. You know what's crazy about the floaters? I didn't think so that shit I said in the last interview about like bigger artists and how people don't humanize them. Like I didn't think that I had it like it's so like so what I'm doing now is really nothing, bro. Like as I look at this SpongeBob doll you got over there, it's really nothing, bro. Like to get these bigger artists to come on this platform, it's really nothing. You feel what I'm saying? But when I before I did it and when I was starting, I looked at it like, oh my god, I'm expecting them to put their time out to come here. You feel what I'm saying? It's really like. That's why I think it's the biggest divider of me, like I'm putting us together, me, you, me and you, right? And like a hundred people that want to do what we doing, they thinking that it is impossible or difficult. It's really not. The difficult part is your doubt. It's in mm-hmm. between this shit. You your biggest enemy. You your biggest enemy. So once you stop doubting yourself, bro, you can handle all these situations, bro. And I be having to tell myself this day, like, cause I, bro, I get so many inquiries, bro. Now I don't know like bragging about this shit because when you set your price, niggas don't be with it. You feel what I'm saying? So I get a lot of inquiries, but I set my price with niggas. You feel what I'm saying? So my my conversion is super low. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like I forgot what I said. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> you forgot what you talking about, talking about with bro? <laughs> well, bro, it's like well, I know what I'm talking about. It's like bro. Don't doubt yourself. And if you do doubt yourself, just know them doubts is going to go away, bro. You got to just... Because you might... Like, listen, you might put somebody in place to get the interviews for you because you doubt yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Now you got to get that person 30% of your business Mm or 20% of your business. Mm -hmm. When really... Then you're going to end up working for him, damn near. Right, so really, you just got to really really believe in yourself, bro, like... You gotta believe in yourself, bro. I never thought that I would be communicating directly with these bigger artists. Real shit. I me either. Like me personally, like who I was as a person, like I wasn't getting along with these people, or like I just wanted had the confidence to talk to these people. But it's like 
It is what it is, is what it is, bro. You got you got you got you got to fail. You got to win and you got to fail. Like how how we just fail. We got winning, we got fail. That's why I was just on shit. Like, bro, we just, we just do 20, 30 minutes real quick, bro. Like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah, but like, fuck <laughs> it. But it's like, fuck it, bro. Like, but, then, but then it's like, bro, when you be, but then the more you try to be successful, bro, like, say you look at me as I'm successful, right? And when you, the, whatever, the audio just wasn't working or whatever, I'm not tripping because that shit happened, bro. Like, that shit happened, bro. Like, I really I'm, appreciate that. I might be the person that, it happened too, cause that's how my life is. That's how my life go, bro. Every time something big supposed to happen for me, a lot of times it didn't go through, and I was just disappointed. I'm used. To, I'm so used to disappointment, disappointment and shit like that. I'm just, I'm kind of numb to it, bro. Like the niggas not cl- like doing a collab post with me. I say, I'm good. I don't care about that shit, bro. Like that's his, that's to me. I'm, I be more studying the shit. Like, okay, why did this happen? How did this happen? And I be moving on right or wrong for real. Like when you, when you meet so many different new people, you gotta move on right or wrong for real. Mm-hmm. So if I'm not wrong, I'm not really worried about nothing. Real shit. Like if I didn't do nothing wrong, like say I just was pressed to put it in, put the freestyle out and niggas didn't collab, then I'm like, okay, damn, why was you so pressed, bro? Talking to myself, like, why was you so pressed? But that wasn't the case. So it's like I'm not stressed. I'm still working. Like at the end of the day. Like when it was when the Drake results came in, I was working. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. When the NASC when the NASC shit went viral, I was working. Like, uh-huh. You asked my dad last interview. I did. The NASC chat. Ask me. Bro, the two million fuck. It, that shit on three million. That shit probably, that shit probably hell, That shit like seven, eight million cumulative. Holy shit, boy! But real shit. That was that was all him, bro. Did, did you? He, that shit. That was all him. He, bro. He's a genius. He's a genius, bro. Chaz. Yes, N A S G. He's a genius, bro. Wow, I would have never. That was all, that, but that was a hundred percent him, bro. Bringing his daughter up there, hundred percent him. Like success, Kev. You know success, Kev. Mm-hmm. He set the interview up for real, and he was like, "Yo, dummy, Chaz got a a, a, a um, Florida's freestyle exclusive for y'all for real." So I'm thinking like, okay, it's gonna be along the lines of the reek shit for real. Like you just went dumb. I'm thinking like that, like. So the interview come, he coming with his daughter for the interview, right? He holding his daughter. I'm like, okay, maybe he will get somebody to hold her during the interview for real. He start the interview, I didn't get ready, my man. No, Mark, yeah, Mark Crooks that was on the phone. Shout out Mark Crooks. Yeah, Mark was there with me. He sat down with the baby. I'm like, okay, cool, it's fine. Did the interview. Then. I'm thinking Kev heard the song though already. So I'm thinking like it's just some fire shit, like nigga just rapped his ass off or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because Kev not saying nothing specific about the song. He just told me it was a song. So we do the interview. He holding the baby. It was fire. Like it was pauses. He watched the interview. You don't, you don't watch my shit for real. I don't watch it all the way through. I don't watch anything all the way through. I don't watch it. Yo, don't do I will I'm pull saying, up my YouTube I'm saying, history you don't right watch now. It. So. The interview was like it's it's awkward silence is in there, but it's cool because he got the baby with him for real. You yeah, know what I'm saying. So after the interview, we got move the podcast table. This is real life niggas don't know about move the podcast table. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Set the mic up. Kev, success. Kev, who be doing his fucking thing, is over there in the corner like this. Like, for, before he hit play, he like dummy. You should put this on the DJ flow tape. And then I guess the shit started and he like, oh nah, okay, I see what you're talking about, but I can't hear it though, because it's right in his ear for real. We put that bitch on the speaker, hit play, we hit record. She gonna be bad as fucking school. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I started walking around that bitch like, oh, this. Before we even start rapping, he's like, Chaz was like, this shit about to go viral. Mm-hmm. Before we even start the video, I'm like, okay. He holding the baby something like He said it was gonna go viral before even yeah, before y'all even. He said that shit. He said that shit. He's, like he said that shit, but it's about to go viral. Before we hit record, he holding the baby. I'm like, she gonna be bad as fucking school. <laughs> I know, but she don't listen. <laughs> I was like, oh, he made a song specifically for the video. This shit gonna go viral. Yeah. And it went viral. And the thing with the TikTok shit, he was like, bro, send me the video so I can post on my TikTok. I said, bet, send me the video. And I was like, let me just post it on my shit just in case, you feel me? You feel me? 
Let me just post on my shit. I ain't even tag him in the right way. For, let me just post on my shit. He about to tag on his shit. You about to put on his shit. That shit won't, you ain't even think I'm about thinking, it I'm, that I'm thinking that shit going to go crazy on his shit for real. Uh-huh. Let me just put on my shit just in case. Bro, that shit went crazy on TikTok, bro. That shit got like... But that shit got us with like 18,000 followers on TikTok. Just from that one video. Yes, yo. Shit. That's more than followers I got. Damn. That shit, bro. That's And I was doing the job at the school that I was telling you about. Uh-huh. Everybody hearing about that shit, knowing uh, about that shit, bro. Like, that shit was crazy, bro. That's just beautiful, bro. I was so happy for you. I, you would have thought I had the millions of views. I was happy for you, bro. But you know what's crazy, though? I got the confidence in this shit to where it's like, when shit like that do be happening, bro, it be like, okay, bet. Because I'm already, I'm already known. You should, you should, that, you feel like that, you feel like I'm that's be, just I'm going to be next to Nia Long on the couch one day. Just from, just from talking. I'm going to be next to Nia Long on the couch. She's going to be loving me. <laughs> Nia Long? I'm going to get my gut health right, you feel me? I like Nia Long. So how are we both, how are we both, we can't both be married to her. I'm not trying to marry her. Okay. I wouldn't right, be mad. Y'all. Yo, it's full of TV. I wouldn't be this mad. This nigga trying to marry the same chick. I wouldn't even be mad. She <laughs> well, we can't on. both like her. No, I'm just saying, like, I, I don't share hoes. But it's near long. You It's near long, so we can share. <laughs> That's one more question, man. Let's wrap this up. Oh shit, man! This is this shit is great. I remember last time you was. I remember last time you were here. Like an hour ago. Yes, last time you were here an hour ago. The the before the audio. Nice. I got, I'm good. The, before the audio <laughs> fucked up. I would do want to ask you. Um, you said you went to college a, a lot. I want to talk about that shit. I went shit. to college for 10 years. You went to college for so, 10 so, years? So let me, now I can wrap it up. Now, now, now as you know, now man and man you know, that's, I feel like this is a way better part because now, now we know. I'm going to explain to you. I can just talk to them, talk to them for real. So it took me from 2011 to 2020 to graduate college. I wasn't in school for the whole nine years, but a lot of shit happened. I had definite family and shit like that. I had like different type of drug addictions for real. And... It took me a long time to finish college, and in the midst of that college experience, I got real life experience for real, and and just the major I chose to broadcast journalism in 2011. And mind you, in 2011, there's no camera shit going on, like niggas not just shooting high quality videos out the ass for real. Mm-mm. So it took me so long that I was a little more smarter than the people in my class that's learning this shit. So motherfuckers in the cars, they like 2021. 20, they're not thinking business and pressure and bills. And <laughs> I'm thinking that. I'm in class 24, 25. So they teaching us this video shit. I just turned it into straight money play shit, bro. You said like, that something just clicked. Yeah, I had to get the same camera. I had to get better cameras. I was paying for music videos. I was in college learning videos, but I was rapping and paying for music videos like $1,000 of wizard. What? $500 a wizard. What? I was paying $500 for the set, models, oh, and all that shit. shit. You was paying, how much you paid the models? My most video, my most expensive video was like fifteen, seventeen hundred. dollars so on Worldstar. What? I don't put, I pay 800 to put that bitch on Worldstar. So niggas that be coming to me, bro, I know what niggas be going through, bro. So I'm like the right person for it. Because I'm not going to sell you short for real. I'm going to get you right. And even after I should drop, I'm going to keep reposting your shit for real. Because I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep reposting your shit. But I didn't pay $800 to get on Worldstar. I did drop my shit like 12 in the morning, bro. Like midnight. You feel what I'm saying? But Like a goddamn song on Spotify. But I'm saying so like... So people my age was in college. May learn the same shit I learned. But they wasn't teaching camera shit. Mm-mm. So when I went back in 2015, 2016, 2017... No, I mean, when I went back to Morgan in 2017, 2018... I ain't graduated to 2020. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The camera shit is, is excelling. So now it's about the journalism and the camera. So God really set me back to really uplift me for real. Wow. And, and I was playing Get Back for like 10 years of my life. And now, since like last, like when I met you, when we did the first interview, that was me really realizing, like, okay, you caught up, gang. Like, you caught up. Like, you surpassed niggas for real. Like, it ain't about, like, no race or nothing, but I definitely felt behind from niggas my age that I grew up with or whatever, like, but... I'm that's here. a comfortable I'm That's so, a good feeling I'm definitely surpassed Because I'm here And I'm living my life The way I want to live it For real Like so if I'm broke now It's because I, I follow my passions You feel what I'm saying And I'm not broke It's just temporary Like money is energy You know what I'm saying but, You gotta keep the money flowing Right you And, can't and I put up my shit. money These niggas don't be These niggas be saving their money Or whatever I save money too I'm not saying like Save money is asking on But like 
I invest my shit. Every time I could have probably put some money up to save, I invested in them. And them investments I'm still using and still flourishing off of the day. So, so uh, for my la- for the last question, for yeah. the last question, what advice you have for me? You know what I mean? You you know you you've been here before. You know what I got going on. You see my platform. You see the type of nigga I am off camera. What is your advice for me? I'll get two cameras and probably make this like horizontal. Two more, two more cameras or and one more camera. One more camera. Okay. And make this horizontal so that it's facing that. You feel what I'm saying? That can be the main camera, and then maybe for the second camera, you can have that shit switching between you and the guest. But really, I would probably have it on some back and forth shit because it's. But I mean, you already edit your shit simple though. But the way I prefer my shit, I prefer my shit back and forth. So if I had one camera on you, one camera on me, then the AI can split the edit the whole shit mm-hmm. for us for real. Like when you talk, it's gonna cut to you. When I talk, mm-hmm. it's gonna cut to me. I need, I need to. So you had two cameras. That. I would um, you be like on some like fuck it aesthetic type shit for real? Yeah, like with the white tees and shit. Damn, you know? I didn't think of this as a fuck it. That's just the fit. No, nah, it's definitely fuck it. That <laughs> nigga's all fuck it. Like I don't give a fuck. I feel you. And you don't give a fuck. I don't. Do you give a fuck? Yeah, I think so. So you give a fuck how you dress? Yes. What the fuck you don't? Yes, I do. How the fuck do you give a fuck how you dress and you wear a white tee every episode, man? It's just that was, that was, that's my everyday outfit. So like, it's not even perfect. Every day you don't give a fuck how you dress. No, I don't. I think it's the, the polar opposite. So I care how I dress. I'm wearing white shit every day. I mean, I should switch it up. Now as you say it like that, I should switch say it, it up. Say that loud. I care how I dress, but I wear white tee every day. It's not the same white tee. It's not even me being funny with you. It's not even the same white tee. Of course, it's not the same white tee. Five come in the pack, gang. Okay. I don't give a fuck about how I look because I wear the same white tee every time. No, you just saying you do give a fuck how you look and you wear the same white tee every day. I do give a fuck about how I look because I wear the same white tee every time. I didn't even. It's not giving that. I didn't even think of it. It's giving that you don't give a fuck. Oh wow! Yeah, I got some. But it works for you though. Okay. Let me see how I look at your shit right now. Like, I feel like your shit is like. So like when I when I study marketing. Right, and niggas like me. I'm a marketing guru, right? I know you are. Right, right. I know you yeah, are. Not giving me That's that. why I asked you the question. Right, I don't be asking. Niggas not giving me that yet, right? So, I'm a marketing guru. In the marketing book, I can send you the book that I read, right, or that I read like a little bit of it, right? Motherfuckers. Oh, so the media shit, right? You got to think me for the record, you. Um, it's who's ox past the ox raw and dope, raw especially raw dope. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, we all feed off each other. So niggas gonna go on raw dope to talk some street shit for real, cause cause ham gonna talk that street shit with him for real. Like it's gonna be genuine. It's gonna be raw. It's gonna be fire. My shit, I can't really tell you how motherfuckers how I'm about to tell you about your shit. You feel me? But your shit, I feel like niggas come on here. Cause you easy easy person to talk to for real. Like even if niggas is worried about you judging them, they don't give a fuck if you judging them or not for real. Like mm. niggas can come here and just be they self for real. Cause you kind of like let them be they self for real. Like it's just natural. And the aesthetic, the aesthetic, the and, and, and the fact you stay consistent with the aesthetic is like motherfuckers is used to that aesthetic now to where it's just like. It just fits in the whole the whole grand scheme of things. Like what I do, what you do, what for the record do, what what um what raw dope do, bro. Like it just all fit with each other. It all me. goes together. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, aesthetic. Mm-hmm. It's it's. I feel like that's you saying like, bro, fuck this shit. I'm throwing <laughs> a white tee on. That's crazy. I I, I, I get what you say. That makes sense. Yeah. So your advice, your advice to me would be: don't wear as many white tees. And get one nah. more camera. My advice would to be to you is, if you wanted to pivot, you could throw on a little button, some up. drips. You could really lean into your personality more, because the white tee not your personality. Your personality it really is the. I'm gonna let you get off what you trying to get off. So it's like you could you could throw on a polo shirt for real, like throw on some slacks or whatever. You can lean into the aesthetic more for real, because mm. your shit's working. That niggas can't take that. Your shit's working. So it's like, 
It's just shit you can play with, like. Yeah, I get what you said. I get what you said. I never thought about it like that. Miss, you got the bit for the for the. Video. Yeah, last time, I, the only reason I have my hair cut is your aesthetic is now. Though, my birthday. But you can switch it up on them for real. Throw some Tom Forties on. Uh, Throw some Tom Four glasses on. Uh, you feel me? Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Throw a little ah uh, and the ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you can fuck with them, bro. I feel Throw you. Throw the skits in there or some shit like. Mm-hmm. You got the personality like pure. I know you rap. But you got the pure podcast shit. And you don't already like, you don't already have fun. Like, niggas done played up here, like, talk about getting your ass eating and shit like that. Don't, like, don't, don't reference that shit. <laughs> you lean into it. Pause. You lean into it. Nigga, ask me. I, I, I answer response. I'm transparent. Right, that's what, that's fact, what I would say. The fact that your cerebrium, uh, your equilibrium, didn't be like, hey, that's wild to say on camera. It's you. That's you, bro. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Yeah, I am. I guess you're right. I'm a, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on it. What's some advice you get for me? I don't I don't know. I don't have no advice for you. I mean, I, I would love to see I would love to see a it's the floaters intro, like like a like those you know like a three second little you know what I'm saying, little bit bop. Mm-hmm. I would love to see check, it. Check the, check the, watch the ice shit. Watch, watch it right now on your phone. You said the ice? Yeah. Tell my nigga Ice, man. That was a, that was a super duper interview. But I don't have I don't have no advice. I don't. I never. I never felt like I never. Especially just specifically talking about you. I never felt like I was like yeah. I would I would do this if I was them. Like, do you I know would. what's crazy about these phones? You're taking me on five percent. You turn that shit off. That's a charge. Turn shit on one percent. I don't know how to get home from Park Heights, gang. You don't, yo, you really don't be around here. I do be around here. Ice who? Why is she not popping up? I C C E. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Do it part nigga right on Libby at I'm gonna know how to get home. Left on Drew It Park, right on. Damn I mean, don't drive, don't get it, don't get a low out. <laughs> I mean, all the type of niggas that I'm not I banging no fish again. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not no more. No, ain't nobody. Ain't nobody should be. Yo, I can't find it, yo. Let me see. This shit is getting on my nerves. What we looking for? Icy. Or oh, the ice and shit. Ice. But that's. I don't have no advice for you, bro. Honestly, I, I, I. When I first, first, first found when it first popped up on my shit, I followed you as a supporter. I, I tapped in with you as a supporter. So I don't even feel like I would. I don't even feel like that shit. Yeah, this is hard. It's retro. You put a beat on me. I, I can rap real quick on, on the beat, though. Go ahead. I, mean, I put a beat on it on your shit. You put a beat on your shit. On your what beat? Uh, put Jada Kids by your side on it. Let me touch it. I got you. Yeah, I fuck with this intro. I fuck with this intro. That is, that is kind of that kinda is what I was talking about. Yeah, it's you, Oh shit, it's a it's a for we don't have time for a freestyle. We don't have time for a freestyle. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. We wasn't even supposed to do this twice. You got to get you got to get somebody up or something? No, no I don't. I have a lot. I got a fucking pack still. And I'm on freestyle. Okay. Okay. Nigga, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do outro while I do it. Ah. Yeah. Oh no. See no, it's a flood. I want to get blase Chris. Uh, this is the uh, first segment uh, of freestyle. Look. Uh. uh. Yeah, 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 yeah I got too many clothes over there Yes, sir To be fucking with them hoes over there Yes, sir You look so good And you know I'm a stay, But never Always coming home Ain't I? Yes, my You let them niggas take my guess spot Guess not Had to reverse park up the block I'm a hot I'm not Uh, uh Always coming home Mm, mm, mm Always coming home Mm, mm, mm Mm, 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 I feel you mm, said yeah. oh, oh. That Jada kiss, bro. Right. 